Hello folks, last time in Sable we turned detective here in Ecria. In this video we'll be leaving Ecria for new locations once we've taken care of some unfinished business. So now the protest is over we'll be able to go and sort out the um, wind chimer thing. And um, we also want to go to Thieving Magpie Well which is out of the city to do a quest. Um, we, we also need to do this whole looking to the moon type thing. Um, this was the guy I think originally gave the quest to me. It was actually in the dialogue he did actually point this symbol out but I didn't actually see that. Oh hello hang on I'm just running through the city. This is the wind chime place. Um, last time, and this person was at the protest, or well, whatever the hell it was. I meet a chime mate. here we go, a chime maker called Ian. Ah, you have the husks that Ifa promised me. Here's a little something for your trouble. Hundred quid. Oh, that was it. Very straightforward. I'm just going to take a little bit of a diversion here, just because. I didn't notice that there is some kind of, like, sewer type stuff underneath the, um, underneath the city. And I'm wondering whether this may, um, all be part of that whole moon thing. There's something in the water here, I think. Look at this. Ooh. Oh god, trousers. <laughs> okay, got some trow. So I'm definitely on, along the right path here. I'm following the moon symbols. I mean, it looks directly ahead. That's the first one we saw, but I'm just at a bit of a loss as to what to do. Get a go. As to what to do next. Hmm, what's this? Oh! Well... <laughs> Scenes? So, do you make a habit of trying to get yourself eaten? Achievement unlocked, silver-tongued sable. What was that? Well, it's a worm, innit? This, this girl is nosy and she's bloody strong. You shouldn't get that close unless you've had the proper training, or else you've got food handy. But you're a glider. I suppose I can forgive a bit of clumsy worm handling. My name's Citra. Do I need help? You know what? Yes! Uh, Nosy loves a black desert glowworm as a treat. <laughs> if you could find us some, we'd both appreciate it. Um, okay. Let's not go in there again. Can I help you? I need to speak to Aria. Aria is a very important person. If I'm going to let a bothersome glider interrupt her day, it had better be worth my while. Uh, 100 quid. I suppose that'll do. Move along, Lyra. Is this... I've got a horrible feeling this might have been part of the detective thing that I cocked up in the last episode. Um, but I shall double check. Maybe there's a mask up here. <laughs> Maybe there's a moon. I somehow doubt it. Oh, hello. How do I get myself merchant badges? Um, she seems completely disinterested in my question. I'm not even sure she heard me. How do you think? What do merchants do? Don't answer that. You can buy them from me. I'd like to buy a merchant's badge. Very well. 100 quid? Oh, that's not too bad. I've got 200. I'll buy two. Achievement unlocked. Badge hobbyist. That might actually be all three that we need. Badges. Here we go. Oh, no. I've still only got two. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm trying to just start again with following these things. I am starting to realise it is actually a... A proper ass trail, if you... Yeah, here we go. Look, I am following it nicely now. But this is maybe where we go into the water. And then we follow that. Yeah, so this is... This is essentially where we were earlier. So after all that, I'm going to end up... If, I'm, if I keep on following this, I'm going to end up exactly where we started at the start of this tunnel, which would be hilarious. In fact, look! Obviously I didn't see that coming in, but that's the moon symbol right there. Ooh, hang on. Found the symbol again. In fact, look, I'm actually going right for it at the moment. Just get my bike in on the action, because I think I left that underwater somewhere. So, up here, maybe? Where the chum egg is, I saw? This is going to take us back to that camp we saw last time. Don't think so, though. Get ourselves the chum egg. Getting a lot of these. Moon! Moon symbol! Huh, okay. That was a little bit of a stretch to get to here, but... That's definitely a good sign, I think. Same signs we've been seeing all, this, all over the place, but... Oh! Ooh! 
This is very moonula. Oh my god, that's a lot of moons. That's no moon. Ah! Ah! Found it! Found it, lads. That was tricky. Over we go. This is actually literally right underneath the front gate, isn't it, as well? That's the most annoying thing. It's been ages looking for the gate last time, but anyway. I show Maz's old mask, he barely reacts. Uh, I can see why they feared me. It's beautiful. He hands it back quicker than he took it, stopping a daydream before it starts. When you wear the Mask of the Shade, there is no greater ally than darkness and dread. Wait until nightfall, then proceed to the guard station. Alright, show them the shade. I shiver. Put the shade mask on and let me know when you're ready to do this. Farewell, glider. Right, what we're going to do, um, whilst we're waiting for night to happen, is I'm going to go to look for Miko at the, uh, the Thieving Magpie's Nest, which apparently is not very far this way. Huh. Let's see what this is then. Oop. Uh, up, up. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh! Oh lord. Well, well, well. Alright. Ha! There, I'm down. Oh! There he is! Mika's voice is ragged and he has the look of someone who spent just slightly too long down a well. A little sandy and tattered. I'm here to rescue you! Sable, thank you. Thank you so much. How do you know I was here? Is Bashir not your friend? I was so stupid with him. Just arrogant. Rude. He's always telling me to be more careful not to go out hunting alone. And I'm always so silly with him. It's so pointless. But I th feel like I have to prove something. But it's for no reason. I'm just being difficult for the sake of it. Uh, it's why I dragged myself over here thinking I might use the crane, but I can't access the controls. Yeah, okay, so we're getting ourselves a key. And we're going to get him out of the well. Oh, maybe we want to collect the bugs. Admittedly. There we go. A resource. A sh two butterflies. Three butterflies. We'll just try and work out how to actually get out of here ourselves now. Can I climb the rope? I'm not sure. That might actually be the only... Oh, I know. I have a feeling it's going to be a navigation puzzle out of here. Don't think I can use my bike in this case. Yeah, this is it. This is how we do it. Hup. So I need to find where to put this key in. But we've still got quite a ways to go by the seams of it. Students of the series will note. Yes, another spiral staircase. Good. And now... Aha! Perfect. Yeah, that looks gatular. And... Straight forward. Up you go! Big nose! I was <laughs> quoting Life of Brian for no reason there. But, right. Good. There you are. Now how do we get to you? I think it's going to be a bit of a flying leap, isn't it? Hup. And... Careful. And across. Mika bounces a little. Yes, whatever you did there, it seems to be working. Looks like we haven't quite got all the way up yet, so we do need to go higher. Can I get onto that um, ladder from here? Let's have a go. Yes! Perfect. Didn't see any sign of a new gate, so maybe it is at the top somewhere. I'm hoping it's going to take us right next to the gate. Yes! And quest complete! Sometimes a well is just a well. I should speak to Mika. Right. Still daytime. So we've still got plenty of time before. We need to go and finish the shade. Oops, careful. Sable, how can I ever thank you? Go home to apologise to Bashir. I tell Mika he needs to go. Oh, I will! I've been apologising. I'll be apologising for uh, to Bashir for days. He deserves it. But, but I do want to give you something a climbing badge! So, it's the height of the daytime. Um, can I really be bothered to, to go all the way back there? No. Let's let's do a bit of hot, fast travel action. I'm going to try putting the mask on now. Since that's what we want me to do. I think I still have to wait till nightfall, though. Oh, apparently not. We skipped the end. Excellent stuff. 
Shade of Equia. Oh, he's the prisoner. I saw that earlier uh, when I first got here. Did I edit that out? I can't remember. <laughs> there you are. Interesting uniform. Get your navel out for the lads. Oh, he's, he's chuckling. <laughs> I'm a god. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, here we go. Here we bloody go, lads. The Shade of Ecria! You know, I was thinking. No, oh, no, it's one of these. No, this one's interesting. Doubtful, but I don't know. Tell me anyway. Listen to you. Listening to you is marginally better than the wind. But let's interrupt them. <laughs> this is my moment. I take a, bre a breath and embody the shade. I do, lads. I'm the shade. <gasps> Gasp! No, it's the shade. Run! Go! Well, anything's scary if you do a close-up. Oh my god, that is scary. Behold! There. Take that. Ooh. Thank god I had a key. <laughs> Somehow. I am buzzing with nervous excitement and maybe a touch of power, but I tell myself it's only to ensure that I give back the mask and continue my gliding. This is not the time to take up the mantle of vigilante. I approach the boy who seems no worse for wear. And that's the end of that chapter. Piss off, boy. Oh my god. Thank you, he's safe with his brothers and sisters. I ask how many there are. Nearly a dozen, orphans all, and the kindest young people you'll ever meet. I would have taken up the mask again myself, but if I was discovered, then what would happen to them, you know? Why don't you keep the mask? There might be a use for the shade yet. Farewell, Glider! Ooh. We have ourselves a mask. Looks like we're going to have to keep this on, then. Oh, look, I look stupid, though. Ooh. So, we've done everything here, then. We've, um, I think we've completed everything I want to complete in Ecria. So we are free to bugger off. Where should we go? We could go south to Se Seven Sisters. On the Victoria Line. So, saying goodbye to Ecria. Bye bye, lads. Story mask. <laughs> and we are basically going straight on, I guess? Pretty much. Past them. Oh, well, through some oops. This looks like it's going to be a race at some point. Oh, something went on. Hmm. Maybe it's not. A, maybe it's something I can do then, now. Let's have a go. This looks like the first one. Possibly? Yeah, I can't see one. Okay. Let's go through them in sequence and see what happens. Oh! Okay. That triggered something. Don't know what this is. Oh, wow. Okay. We've revealed a Link-style dungeon, I think. <laughs> Let's show our face, pop our head around the door. Who is within? Oh, gosh, it's gone grey. Ancient... Oh, ancient race. It is a bloody race. But that was an artefact. Ooh. I wonder what the ring-shaped artefact is for. I don't know. There's no quest marker for this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is going to put back on the old quest. So at least we're going somewhere. Maybe that'll come good at some point. Ooh, it looks a bit kind of ruined over here. Whee! Plop. I wonder if we'll get the bike at some point with some new parts, but... I don't think I've had, had anything new recently. I suspect there's probably more stuff to, to have found in Ecrio if we really poked around and talked to everyone. Oh, wow! The whale, apparently. I can read. Oh, this is... This is cool! Wow! Anyway, I'm just admiring this. Oh, we'll be going out again, aren't we? We don't need to do that. Um, I'm just admiring the scenery somewhat. 
Oh, hang on, let's get off the bike, just for a sec. See if there's anyone around. It looks like just old ships, old broken-ass ships. Some of the walls here don't seem climbable, so I'm having to use ladders. Like a savage. Savages invented ladders. Right. This this looks doyler. Ooh. Very noisy doors. Oh! Hologram! Still making a funny old noise. That door over to the right is locked. That looks red and bad. That looks like an awful puzzle. I encounter a strange luminous figure. He greets me before even I have a chance to be frightened. New user found! Hello! Please enter your username. I whisper my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth. Welcome, Sable. I've set up a new account for you. I ask a mysterious figure about themselves. I'm the ship's simulated anthropophic registry and information nexus, but you can call me Sarin. What are you doing here? I'm not entirely sure, Sable. Most of my data modules appear to be corrupted. Transferring ship's log to your inbox. No unread message. Oh, god damn it. Historical reconnection, eh? I should look for more of Sarin's terminals. Okay, maybe I find those elsewhere in the world then. Okay, so it's just like a glorified post. Oh, scrap! Interesting. That's some, we're actually on a quest to get scrap, aren't we? Serial number something. Designed in London. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. There's a definite London theme developing in this game. You know, when you get a feeling there's a, 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 a jumping puzzle that you need to solve. Ooh. I wonder if I can get up there. Where do I go? Onto that? Oh, that's... Oh, I think we're going back the way I came. Oh, no, no, maybe not. Oh! Ooh. I clipped through it right through that. Ooh, here we go. I think I might have found a way up. Looks like there's a few things up here we can get. I suspect it's just bonuses. Actually, having said that, this looks interesting. Oh, that's some activated... Oh, that probably makes it just easier to get up and down. Okay. So this... Ooh, look over there. Well, it's a door. It's certainly a door. Above a different door, which is possibly the one we went into last time. It's got the same here. Oh, what's this? Ooh! How weird. It's a garden. With a 20 quid garden at like that. There's stuff up here. What's this? So, what are we doing here? So none of those prompts actually yielded anything. So I'm still a bit confused as to what I'm doing here. Although, what's this one? Am I pick? Maybe I'm actually, um... Taking these things? Possibly. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Feels like there's more to do here, but possibly later on. So for now, I'm actually going to head north. Or south, in fact. To where we were going. And see if we can just get out. <laughs> if we can just get away from this bloody window. I think we need to go. Where do we need to go? We need to go. There. So we're we going. Hopefully out through this gap right here. I think that should do the trick. Oh, I think we've crossed into somewhere else. I think we just crossed the border into what looks like Stinkland. Ooh. Oh, wow! Not what I expected. Oh, that's very vertical. Everywhere's a bit yellow now. Yellow and stinky. Oh, that's gonna... That looks cliffular. Let's ignore that. Is this the station? I presume it is. Yes. It is. Ugh. God damn it, bloody zone three. Right. Very lovely looking crystal. Ooh. Butterfly. Crystal butterfly. Nice. Get off the bloody crystals. That looks like the local machinist. A slow mover, intentional in every action. As I approach, she crosses her arms and tilts her head back, looking me over. I put a saunter in my walk. Her greeting is a silent tip of her chin. I give a nod back. What's your name? I tell her my name and extends a hand. Uh, she extends a hand. Z Zan Zara. What are you looking for? Ah, yes, glowworms. Oh, the innkeeper might know about it. Okay. Oh, I've looped round. It looks like there's a way up here. Get up. 
There we go. Aha! This is more like it. This is a proper ass place. Kuya. A delivery out in Hakoa. Brilliant. This is the last time I agree to this. Fumes scratching at your eyes. The humidity is unbearable. All this while lugging a heavy bag across this terrain. Rohana's mask, I wish I had a hover bike. Well, you don't. <laughs> so, no. Now, here's an inn. Uh, mate, look at me. This is Afei, the innkeeper. What can I do for you? Have you got time to help me with something? Glowworms. Yes, yes, absolutely I do. There's a cave far to the south of here, but just packed with the sinister little creeps. I hate them, they're just awful, but unfortunately they're, they're of use sometimes, so I've become quite practiced at catching them. Are they... Okay. I can advise you'll need to get them down from where they nest on the roof of the cave. To do that, look for sulfurous rocks nearby. Do you want to write this down? I tell her I'm making mental notes. Well, you want to look for sulfurous rocks and get them wet. They'll start smoking and that should be enough to knock the glowworms out and net you your awful slimy quarry. Ah. What do you need as well? The innkeeper seems almost giddy. I need you to gather some slice... Slice a beetle poo? God damn it. You want me to gather poo? Yes, from beetles. So apparently there's a, uh, there's a poo... I've also got a poo quest. I've got a firefly quest and a poo quest. <laughs> From this place. Aye, aye, aye. Well, Seven Sisters does, is a very yellow station indeed, as it turns out. We're all very stinky and everything. Um, I think we're probably about time to stop, so let's um, let's call it here. Hopefully we'll continue making more episodes of this, um, if people keep on watching. Uh, I know I'm enjoying this, so it's worth a, f a bit more, I think. So, thanks for watching. Do subscribe as usual. Uh, check me out and buy me a coffee as usual. And bye for now. <laughs> bye.